Good day viewers, well, I'm trying to make this um, vacuum fluorescent display amplifier here. But actually you've got your, your VFD, I've set all the pins out, I've picked out all the grid, the anode connections, colour coded them accordingly. So blue anode, that blue wire, all drawn up as one pin. The grid is black wire here. There's a grid there, all connected up as one pin. Heater, obviously the two end ones are your heater. So according to the schematic I found on the internet, so the audio in goes down, through the heater, through the 6 volt power supply, and from the 6 volt power supply it goes to your 30 volt power supply, which goes to the 100k resistor, back down into the grid. So from that 100k resistor here, it comes back up to the little 10 microfarad electrolytic, and the audio in positive, and negative audio in goes down, back through your heater. So like I've got there. Then the um, other side of your power supply here goes through, joins up through a resistor here, 330 ohm to your, your anode, that blue wire, and off that taps off another capacitor, 20 microfarad electrolytic, positive with your speaker, and negative with your speaker goes off to your positive here, your power supply. I have got it to light up, I'll turn this on, and I'll connect the heat and it should light up. The batteries aren't crash hot, but it's working. Only half of it's lighting up there. So I come to this, come this far. I just got to get find out what's a follow my. Uh, or should I have um the yeah, right value of resistors and capacitors? I've got that much bloody circuit boards laying around. Just been doing some testing, and I haven't managed to get some audio to come through. I just got it straight off the amplifier in this little radio here. But this isn't actually a very strong amplifier at all. X is um. Uh, vacuum pentode. It's got everything a valve needs. It's got your heater, cathode, which is your heater, acts as a cathode in this circuit, grid, which is this little um, the fly screen in your display, that fly screen looking thing is your grid, and those num number segments all hooked up together, acts as my anode. And off the other side of the heater, you got to have your, yeah, I think it, what, what I do here, obviously a negative for your battery, which is a heater voltage. And off that comes, I've got it going through a lot, but was a ballast and through your power supply. So uh I'll let this sit for now. I'll go do, do some more battery popping experiments. Think about it, I've got to think it through, see if I get it right. Ready to go. Now, someone asked me in a previous one, I've asked did one of these writing, uh, last to be battery popping videos, but what, what I use as a power supply to pop batteries, well, is basically it. A 200 amp 1950s um, power Mac or Lincoln Electric arc welder. Also runs on three phase. So you run on 240, which is currently on single phase at the moment, 20 amps, 415 or 480 volts. Primary current, so about 30 amps there on 240, 28 amps, 17 amps on 415 volts, and 14 amps on 480 volts. Open circuit voltage, 48 on the 50 volt winding. 75 open circuit volts on the 80 volt special winding or tap. So it's rated output as 200 amp, welding and duty cycle, rated at 25%, electrode sizes 6 to 16 gauge, and weight 162 pounds. Pretty heavy. Made in Australia, which is a good thing. Let's see. Made in Ferrers Street, South Melbourne. Australian standard C97 1964. Yeah, there you go. Category number or catalogue number PM12 major. So, yeah, basically my power supply I use. So, let's get popping. See what happens. 3, 2, 1. No, that battery must be completely flat, so it's not doing anything, unfortunately. General purpose is Let's set this up. Three, two, one. There we go, the right reaction. Oh. That's disappointing, they have pops or whiskey squeals. Oh, 
of yours because this pulls 30 amps on a single phase at the full load. I've checked the 20 amp breaker. We only have a 20 amp breaker supply in the shed. So it really should have upgraded our wiring but it shouldn't be um, doing anything with it. Upgraded our three phase wheel, plant now for anyway. There you go, back to that machine. That's the most intense day ever. Look at that. Okay, the old, what I was saying, that's our main breaker there for our engineering shed where I'm doing the battery popping over there. Yeah, it's only a 20 amp breaker as I said. The wiring from here, that goes underground for that shed there, for that conduit you can't really see, is only a 20 amp cable. So we'll have to upgrade that wiring to bigger, heavier gauge to put a 30 or more amp breaker in. We want to eventually get three phase in that shed so we can take advantage of our welders, get the most out of our MIG welder as well. As you can see, it's only a very, yeah, it's only a standard grade house, grade building wire in there. Not very good for what we need it for in this shed. Hence the 20 amp break, another 30 amp, otherwise it'll cause fires. Bit of glare on there, but anyway. Try this one. Another one here, got a couple of them in there. One, two, three. Here we go. Circuit back a cool down. Those batteries are just too tough. Just melted the plastic seal, invented. That's why it didn't pop. Heavy duty, ever ready D cell. Let's see if this has got enough charge. Three, two, one. Nope, that's completely dead. Not going to pass any load either. Got another one. Let's see what this one does. Thank you, Also, I'm passing any load. Hmm. Okay, viewers are going to have a very sick heavy duty there. Diesel. Let's see if this has got enough charge to pop. Damn it. Open circuit as well. I might have to check my um, connections. Okay, I've got the other electrode connected there. Let's set it up now. Ah, the electrodes. Yeah, battery's obviously too flat. Let's try another set. Okay, the oil is hot. I won't move that battery when it's hot, so it is getting, it is going to pop. Just a delayed reaction. So three, two, one. Here we go. Where's the squealer? Hmm. Look, look. There we go. Now it's loading the water up. So twice it's not loading the water up much. Imagine how much smoke that's packing these things. Here we go. Yep. That's it. Complex shot. Let's try another one. Okay, very attempted red ever ready back this. Very good electrode. Three, 
chạy vào Vậy đó Sao buông ra Nhìn thấy cái This one's got no unlocks, for sure. Damn, it's got your tongue. Just as I thought, carbon rod does auto work. Arc food like an electrode, melting metal in a furnace. Cool, I can really use that. Let's try the next patch. Hey, cats come on to investigate. Puss, 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 puss. Hey, Charlotte. Puss, puss, puss. Be careful, kitty. Super heavy duty, everybody. Three, two, one.
I'm going to try to take one of the cups now. And there's a carnage in this battery. All that gooey stuff at the top melted. The top of it, I think, is still there. Yeah. Spot right at the top to the um, electrode. Still a bit hot. Yeah, so I thought, went straight to the um, electrode inside the battery. And that took all the current, and that would have lit up quite bright. But they also draw a lot of current at the same time. These carbon rods are handy for that, make good light bulbs. There you go. And that are batches, so for now, thanks for watching.